your piece of Wi-Fi machine. Ano ba yung... everyone, this is Tronny once again and welcome back to my channel. Well, for this video guys, this will gonna be a new and amazing video guys. Totally new with the travel and cooking videos that we have. Kasi magpag-uusapan natin guys yung something na pagkakitaan. It's a business a video guys where we can invest at maging source of, source of income natin during this pandemic guys. I know this season is really hard for everyone. Lahat Maraming nawawala ng trabaho and all of that. So, I guess this is the time na mag-step tayo ng another source of income natin aside from the salary that we're getting to our job. So, on my case guys, what I've entered in is the Piso Wi-Fi business guys. I know that you've heard a lot of um, news regarding to that business and I think that that is a great idea nowadays guys especially that we are now entering to this new normal season and our government is pushing through the online schooling guys internet connection is really essential guys so dito sa tigas namin yung piece of wifi business is really ideal dahil napakaraming tao dito mahina ang data connection so if you do have your wired internet connection, if you will invest on a piece of Wi-Fi, guys, that is really a good deal. So, magkano nga ba yung magiging pupunan natin when we entered on that piece of Wi-Fi business, guys? Ano yung gano kabilis yung return of investment natin? And ano yung kailangan natin i-consider kung ito yung papasak, papasukin natin yung business, guys. So, come and join me on this video, guys, as I show you that my experience entering in this kind of thing. So the first thing guys that you have to consider will be of course your piece of Wi-Fi machine. Ano ba yung pipiliin mo? Because um, when doing my research on this type of business guys, I found out that there are two type of machine that you can that you can choose when you wanted to enter on a piece of Wi-Fi business. We have the voucher type, this one, and we also have the vendor type. So ano nga ba yung difference nila? Well, they don't differ a lot. So, the difference ng nila is yung mode of uh, kung paano po connect si customer doon sa business mo. The voucher type, when your customer connected to your router, then they need to encode certain type of code or password for them to be connected doon sa piso Wi-Fi business mo. And doon naman sa piso Wi-Fi vendor type, Pag connect nila doon sa Wi-Fi router mo, they'll just have to insert a coin depending on the amount and the time range that they wanted to consume or be connected on your Wi-Fi business. Those are the different type of vendo machine. Okay, so nung, nung naghanap ako ng different type of vendo machine, nalaman ko kung ano yung mas makakamura at nalaman ko kung medyo ano yung medyo matahas. And I found out na Kung pipiliin natin yung vendor type na piece of Wi-Fi, ang price range niya would be 9,000 or 8,500 base and kumaabot siya up to 15,000 depende doon sa materials na ginamit niya. Pero kung ang pipiliin mo is yung voucher type, nag-range lang siya from 3,500 up until 6,000 depende doon sa package na kukunin mo kung may antenna na siya outdoor antenna or yung capacity niya aabot ng 30 users doon magbabary yung price ng machine na kukunin mo. So, it's up to you which of these two you are going to avail for your business. business. Second thing to consider would be your location, of course. Kailangan i-assess mo yung location mo kung maraming tao ba, maraming bata, maraming tambay na nakapaligid doon sa bahay mo na gagawin mong location. Because of course, those people around your visit vicinity will be your prospective customer na makikabit doon sa piece of Wi-Fi business mo guys. So, mas maraming tao sa 
mas maraming tao sa vicinity mo, mas maraming chance na mapabilis yung return of investment mo doon sa business na uh, piece of wifi business na i-venture mo. thing that you have to consider would be, of course, your internet provider, guys. Alam naman natin sa Philippines, hindi ganun kabilis yung um, internet speed na meron tayo. We have Globe, we have Smart, we have Converge, we have PLD, we have Sky. So you need to do your research. Ano yung pinakamabilis doon sa lugar mo, of course, para hindi madesmaya at masatisfy sa speed ng internet yung mga makikinig doon sa Wi-Fi business mo. Because the speed really matters when you are uh, going to enter on this kind of venture, guys. Fourth would be the budget, guys. In this type of business, I think, um, mas isipin mo muna um, yung gagamitin mong machine at kung anong plan yung kukunin mo at your internet package, guys, para ma-assess mo kung magkano nga dapat yung ilabas mong pera para um, gawin mong starting investment at makapag-start ka sa ganitong type of business. Because as I've said, there are two types of machine. We have the voucher type, with it, which is the cheaper. We also have the vendo type, which is much um, pricey doon sa business na gagawin mo. And when it comes to plan, we have 10 Mbps plan, 25 and up to 100 Mbps. It's up to you guys kung anong plan yung kukunin mo. And on that thinking, on that assess, assessment na gagawin mo guys, doon mo malalaman kung magkano yung ilalabas mong pera to start on this type of business. Those are the four types of things that you have to consider in order for you to begin or start on this type of business. If you are going to ask me guys, ano yung pinili ko? Of course, I go to the voucher type one because as I said, mas mura nga dito yung initial when it comes to the package itself, when it comes to the machine because 3.5 lang siya and actually napakadali lang naman nga um, i-operate guys. I can say na sa una lang mahihirapan at maninibago yung mga customer mo because of course, mas um, uh, use o mas nakasanayan nila yung vendo machine na piso wifi and like this one na mag-encode pa sila ng voucher code or ng password when they connect. But as, as time goes by, as they go along, pag naging customer mo na sila, magiging madali na lang sa kanila yun at magiging routinary na yung pagkabit nila doon sa piso wifi business. So, ano ba yung dapat mong gawin para mas makuha mo yung mga new customer na tangkilikin, yung voucher type piece of Wi-Fi mo? Well, my case, guys, what I did is I changed the price. Of course, since sanay na sila doon sa vendo type, ang ginawa ko, binago ko yung pricing and the minute na pwede silang makakonect doon sa piece of Wi-Fi, uh, depending on the amount they wanted to uh, give, like, sa piso, based on my research kasi doon sa mga kapit bahay ko dito, for 1 peso makakakonect sila doon sa vendo type ng 9 minutes. So what I did, for every peso na gusto nilang kumonek, ginawa ko siyang 15 minutes. So, in that case, mas makakatagal sila doon sa connection mo ng like 6 minutes gan. So, if you would come to think of it, kung kayo yung customer, of course, doon ako makikikonect sa voucher type kasi 15 minutes yung piso ko. Unlike doon sa vendo type na 9 minutes lang. And the per internet provider that I uh, avail on our area, luckily we already have um, converged here. So I can say na satisfied yung customer when it comes to internet speed at hindi naglalag when they do gaming like ML or anything else. When they surf the net, when they stream there's no problem, I can tell you. And I can say when it comes to the return of investment, first week, alas na abot na namin yung 500. If you come to think of it, uh, 500 per week, that's we have four weeks in a month, so that will be 2,000. So dadading ka dun sa point na halos makakalibre ka na doon sa internet connection mo, plus may tubo, may tubo, ka, may tubo ka pa. Like in a span of six, to 9 months return of investment na guys guys and nakalibre ka pa dun sa internet so those are the basic knowledge that I have regarding piece of Wi-Fi business I hope I was able to help you on this type of business if you are thinking of additional income guys this is uh, the great idea that I can share to you and 
If you're planning to avail the Pisa Wi-Fi voucher machine, I'll be putting down the link below kung saan ko siya nabili para doon na rin kayo bumili guys. I can tell you, napakadali niya. Just plug and play and when all of the procedures, napakadaling uh, sandin guys. I hope I was able to help. If, you, if I was able to help you, please do leave a thumbs up in the comments and do subscribe to my channel. This is Ronnie once again.